Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Big Jim with Big Jim Fishing coming to you today from my new studio. And I'm gonna give a quick tour around my Elgato and Apple live stream and YouTube studio. So stay tuned. Yeah, so welcome back. So at this time, I wanna give you a tour, a behind the scenes tour of Big Jim Fishing's home studio that I'm gonna be doing my new live stream series in called Dialed In and where I edit and perfect all of the YouTube videos that are on Big Jim Fishing. I know some of you guys out there that are watching this video or crossover audience from Elgato and people who follow live stream stuff. And a lot of you guys are my fishing channel followers. So I wanna welcome everybody. And hey, let's get started showing you the studio. So this is my home office and I converted it, not really converted it, but fixed it up to be my studio. And we're gonna get right to it. So let me get here at the desk. Let me dim the lights down. So this right here is my studio setup. Uh, the main brains behind it is we just got this two weeks ago. That is an Apple Mac Studio with the M1 Max chip a uh, one terabyte hard drive and with Final Cut Pro installed. Did a lot of research on it and that is the best computer that comes basic because you get 32 gigs of RAM and it has a 10 gigabit if ethernet port and I run a hard cable around to all of my electronics over here which is my, I have my Eero up there and all my switch boxes are there. But that is my main computer for streaming and making videos. And it's on uh, the center, center screen here is a Innocent 4K 27 inch. And then the monitors on the outside are Samsung 24 and a half inch curve screens. I uh, have these two on a dual arm mount and I have this one here on a single arm mount. And this screen here is hooked up to my Mac Mini, which my Mac Mini is about eight years old. It's an Intel series chip, but I'm keeping it for my personal stuff like doing finances and my iTunes music and stuff like that. And then I'll be able to use this computer strictly for big gym fishing. Now, to start off with, uh, for a microphone, I have the Elgato Wave 3. And it's about the best USB microphone that's out there. Uh, we have it on a shock mount and we have the filter screen on the front. A pop filter and we have it on the Elgato low rise arm and the reason why I did not want an arm coming up over the screen I wanted it below and what I really like about it see if I can do this with one hand without crashing the keyboard You can loosen this knob right here and I can fold it completely under the monitor and then tighten it back up and it'll stay right there out of the way. And then when I do a live stream, I can pull it out, tighten it up and boom, I'm ready to go. So that's made by Elgato, all those pieces. Also, I have the Elgato Stream Deck XL it plugs into my computer via USB-C port and 
it gives you 32 programmable buttons to be able to do commands like uh, I can control my lights just by hitting this one button, turn them on and off, brightness. Uh, you can program your websites where you just hit a button and it everything will come up right on the screen. I'm in the process of pro programming everything that I'll need for the future. But yeah, the Elgato Stream Deck XL, awesome. Um, my Mac Mini is where I listen to my iTunes and my Pioneer speakers are connected to it. But the speaker output on the Mac Studio, I have a set of headphones here with an extra long cord. Those are what I'll be using for the live stream. Have this nice little flip up hook right here that keeps them right where I need them. Um, got this mat. Uh, all of this was off of Amazon and the new Apple Magic keyboard and the new Apple Magic mouse. So these two go to the studio and these are the ones that I had for the Mac Mini. So I have control over everything right here. All of these are wireless. These are the old units. Uh, they run on batteries. And these here, you charge them up by plugging them in with USB-C cables. And I just plug them into the front of the Mac Studio and charge them up from time to time. Awesome keyboard. Uh, what I like about the new keyboard is that it has the number pad out to the side and it also has fingerprint technology. Uh, so this is real neat. My camera, which is up on top of the 4K 27-inch uh, display, is the Elgato face cam. I was thinking about going with the face cam pro. It just got released, but the problem with it, uh, number one, you can't find them right now for sale. And the second thing is that right now you can only stream in 1080p and 720p uh, online right now. So it would have been a waste of money uh, to go on with that technology as of now. So this streams in 1080p and you can see from my monitor the view that you would see if we're live streaming. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, brighten up my lights and you can see what the picture would look like when I live stream. And then I can hit a button on my Stream Deck XL to warm up the lights. And that just gives it a little warmth. So this right here is the picture that you would see when I'm live streaming. So yeah, so since we're on it, we've already discussed everything on the desktop here. Uh, let's talk about my background. And uh, you can see the background, what is right behind my body, my head here sitting in the chair, I really don't care anything about. So when we get back to the wall, you'll see why there's a big opening on the wall. But let's turn around to the wall. Let me dim these down just a little bit. Love this Stream Deck XL, man, this thing's awesome. So here's my back wall. Those of you who'd seen my videos before, you know I had my, uh, mine and my wife's college degrees and stuff hanging back there. So we wanted to dress this wall up for live stream. Well, one of the first problems I had in this room was echo. So I added these Elgato wave panels and they absorb not only high frequency, but low frequency because there's two different types of material in here and you're able to fit them together and you can create a little design. 
and they absorb sound really well. Uh, but our house, all the walls are tan. So to bring up some contrast, I used some battery powered LED up lights and I have four of those. Those are actually like for DJs and I happen to have some. So we determined playing around with it to split the colors, blue on one side and green on the other. And that made for a real nice design. Now it looks different when you're looking at it right here, but when you look at it on the screen, when you're live streaming, it looks really cool. It adds depth to the room. Uh, got this little thing here on Amazon to just put some some stuff on there for the background. And we got these on Amazon as well. We just have them command strip to the wall. And this lamp, uh, one of the biggest problems with this lamp was I had to find a bulb that not only looked good, but did not put out hardly any light. So we went with this one and it, may, it looks really good in the background. Uh, also, we got this on Amazon, a live sign that uh, looks kind of neon. And of course, we have it plugged in and we rounded the cable around there. And you can't even see that on the live stream. Hung a few baits on the wall just to fill in a hole. And then I have a uh, rod rack. And I put some of my extra rods that I'm not using, uh, the ones I'm not using, and then new ones that are my backup rods for when I break a pole in the boat. And then, of course, you know, it makes for a good backdrop. Also, above my shadow box, we put a couple of wave panels on this wall, and that really helped with the sound bouncing off. Uh, we have books and stuff over on this side that help absorb the sound. So the combination of those wave panels really absorb the sound. Uh, one little funny thing I'm going to show you right here. Mounted this uh, GoPro mount. It's just a clip on. And I clipped it onto this bookcase. And this GoPro that I'm using right now uh, when I live stream tonight, I'm going to hook it up right here and it'll give you a behind the scenes for I could use it in a video or for uh, a promotional clip or anything like that. And welcome to the first live stream called Dialed In. Yes, this is our first live stream here in the studio on my channel, Big Jim Fishing, where we're going to talk, you know, BFLs, Mega Live, forward facing sonar, Phoenix boats, boat shows, and anything else bass fishing. But yeah, this is our studio with Big Jim Fishing. So my goal is right now to do a live stream every Monday night. And the live stream is called Dialed In with Big Jim Fishing. So y'all stay tuned. Some of the content that will be coming out we're going to be talking about tournaments. Anything that happens over the weekend, we'll talk about tournaments. We'll talk about things that are coming up. And we're also going to deep dive on some of my mega live settings, target lock settings, and Solix units, and anything that has to do with Hummingbird and Minn Kota. So I appreciate it. We got merch coming soon for Team Dialed In. And we look forward to seeing you guys on the next video or the next dialed in live stream. This is Big Jim with Big Jim's Fishing, and we'll see you next time.